Hello, how are you? And a happy, happy new month. It's actually the month of love, the month where uh, single people get to feel sad and uh, people in relationship get to st set standards for us. But mutachana tu, mm, you shall leave each other. <laughs> So hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a very brand new video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and now at 9,000 subscribers. So I truly, truly appreciate the support and the love and um, I do not take it for granted. Uh, I have a very interesting video. It's about HIV prevention and about a new HIV prevention that was recently approved by WHO. It was pre-approved last year and uh, now this year WHO officially approved it. It's called the Dapirivin. I hope I have said the right thing. <laughs> Dapivirin. Yeah, it's called Dapivirin ring uh, it's a va silicon vaginal ring that is used by women who are not living with hiv or rather hiv negative women to prevent them from hiv and aids infections and uh, it is inserted inside the woman's vagina and uh, it stays there for 28 days it's laced with uh ARVs on it, around it, surrounding it, and then so it's just a flexible free size ring that gets you just get to insert it in there. It stays there for 28 days and uh, it basically protects you from HIV. However, this ring does not protect you from other STIs and unplanned pregnancies. So let us get a little bit into the ring according to what AVAC, AVAC is a, a, a global advocacy organization for HIV prevention. So AVAC on their um, site, they have said the, vag the Dapivirin vaginal ring is a flexible silicone ring that a woman can insert in the vagina for monthly protection against HIV. The ring is designed to provide women with a discreet and long-acting option for HIV prevention. So the ring is very discreet. When you guys are having sex, the man will not feel it because a lot of women had that question. The first time I shared this on my social media, a lot of women asked me, will the man feel it no the man will not feel it because it's designed to be discreet um it contains the antiretroviral drug the pivirin so the reason why it's called the dapivirin ring is because the regimen that is laced around the 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 ring is the dapivirin regimen uh which is released slowly to reduce the risk of hiv infections locally in the vagina with few effects elsewhere in the body so it's basically it releases the 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 hiv prevention uh arv which is the prep you know prep uh which is a pre not pre, it's not prep prep though prep pep and arv is about the same thing it's just that depends with how they're used so prep is used before uh PEP is used after sex and ARV is just used for people who are living with HIV. So this ring has an ARV called Dapivirin and it's actually laced on the ring and the ring gets to release that ARV into the woman's body to protect her from HIV. Uh, over the last decade, a number of studies in different settings have tested the ring's safety, effectiveness and acceptability. These studies and the current research show uh, research status of the ring are described that the ring was developed by International Partnership for Microbiotes. It's called the IPM. It's a non-profit organization formed to develop HIV prevention products and other sexual reprod and reproductive health technologies for women. So the ring was designed by IPM. IPM is a, a non profit organization and it actually does 
this so it has designed the ring and i love the ring because it actually um is meant for women you know along the years we've gotten to hear very many stories or a woman says uh, i am having sex with this man but people are telling me he's actually living with hiv some of them are telling you hey, uh, i was having sex with this guy and this guy in the middle of sex he removed the condom uh, some other guys have been accused of actually busting the condom prior to having sex so these are things these are real situations for women and sometimes you find that they don't have the right access to PrEP and PEP medications. And we know that the only HIV prevention tool that has been created and designed for women along the years has been the female condom, which is a very, very cumbersome HIV prevention tool, very unfriendly to women, and it was also very pricey. So to tell you the truth, it was one of the, the, the HIV prevention methods that I have seen a lot of people have so much stigma against so this ring is what i can call a game changer so what do we know about the the pivirin ring uh the ring uh has been assessed it is safe it is effective and uh, women will want and be able to use it and when i look at the the few months ago i shared it on my social media on my facebook platform and not even facebook i actually shared it on facebook uh instagram and tiktok and people were women were willing to take it they were asking me when is it coming how is it going to work how is it going to and i loved that because already it shows that women are willing to take this ring up as a hiv prevention method also uh, the safety studies that were conducted in Belgium and the United States and then in Kenya, Malawi, South Africa and Tanzania, extensive information on the safety of the ring for women was also collected in the large effectiveness studies and uh, the initial research included women aged 18 to 45 with additional safety studies among postmenopausal women and adolescent girls aged 15 to 17 and uh, a study of the ring and oral prep that is designed to collect additional safety information among the age group and to understand their HIV prevention needs and preference related to these two products. In addition, there are studies ongoing or in development right now to explore the ring safety among pregnant and breastfeeding women. So for pregnant and breastfeeding women, we still don't have enough info to say that they can actually use it or not use it. But for other women, aged uh, 15 to 17, 16 to 21, and uh, 18 to 45, it has been proven to be very safe. So they can go ahead and use it as long as they are sexually active. Uh, effectiveness, the effectiveness was done in uh, three phases, a uh, two phase three studies. Uh, and uh, it shows that the monthly the pivirin ring reduced women's risk of HIV-1 infection by approximately 30%. So we don't really know about the HIV-2 yet, but uh, according to this article, but so far for HIV-1, it has a 30% effectiveness on women. Uh, further analysis indicated that higher levels of protections were seen in women who use the ring most regularly. A lot of us don't like doing regular things and uh, probably that might be a challenge even when the ring comes. People like doing short-term stuff. So when you get the ring and you're able to access it, can you please at least try and use it in the long term because the more you use it, the more effective it is. The perspective from users, providers, and policymakers, uh, stakeholder perspectives on the ring have been an important part of the research agenda, and studies have shown a range of perspectives. While some women are unable or unwilling to try the ring, a number of studies have shown that many women like and can use the ring, and that adherence increases with experience of using it. So a lot of women have the... Um, fear of the unknown and they're like oh my god i cannot 
um, I cannot use the ring. What if somebody feels it? What if I, it comes out? You know, there's so much um, misinformation, but all that has actually been covered. And it has been shown that the more you use the ring, the more effective it is. And it's going to actually help you. And like, like for women who are in HIV discontent relationships, this is going to help you a lot because then you get to have sex with your partner. And if they're undetectable, it's a plus for you. You know that you are protected. And that is part of the things that make me happy because one of the um, issues with women is most women living with HIV uh, are high. The number of women living with HIV is higher than the number of men living with HIV. So you see, this ring is actually going, it's designed basically to reduce the HIV and AIDS infections among women. So it's a win for women. And if it's a win for women, it's a win for all of us. Okay? We get to reduce the number of HIV infections and that is a beautiful thing. So, uh, let me look at the the who uh, article that was actually uh that was approved on 26th of january 2021 uh where who recommended that the dapivirin vaginal ring may be offered as an additional prevention choice for women at substantial risk hiv infections as part of combination prevention approaches so basically what WHO did is just approve, like they just put the rubber stamp there and they were like, you know what? Now the ring is good to go for any woman who is at risk of getting HIV infection. This Remember, this ring is only for HIV negative women. It's not for HIV positive women. If you're positive, continue taking your ARVs and the ARVs are going to have your viral load suppressed. So the 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 uh, the vaginal ring is a female initiated option to reduce the risk of HIV infection. To properly use the ring, it must be worn inside the vagina uh, for 28 days after which it should be replaced with a new ring. So if you are after 28 days, remove the ring and replace it with a new ring. Don't leave it there that oh no it's no after 28 days it will not be effective and it will not work. The ring, ring is made of silicon. I had mentioned that earlier. And therefore, the good thing about it made of silicon, it's easy to bend and insert. So you can basically do it on your own. It's an easy to use tool, okay? The ring works by releasing the ARV drug, the pivirin from the ring into the vagina slowly for over 28 days. So according to WHO, the, the WHO article says the ring demonstrated an HIV reduction of 35% among women. So it's still okay. It's 5% more, but it's still okay. I'm, st I'm still with this ring, by the way. I am rooting for this ring because I do not want more women living with HIV. I want that number to reduce. I want the number of women living with HIV to reduce so that women are not left in a position where they can no longer negotiate for safe sex. Because we know, according to the structural and cultural barriers of women in sub-Saharan Africa, we have women who are not in a position to ever negotiate for safe sex. And we need women who are able to negotiate for safe sex, okay? Uh, so, the, 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 the ring is intended to reduce the risk of acquiring HIV during vaginal sex for women. So, if you're doing anal sex, the ring is not going to protect you. This ring is basically, it's only for now... Uh, designed to be used in the vagina. So if you're having anal sex, then you're just increasing your risk of getting HIV, okay? Uh, it's, it acts as a complementary prevention um, approach in addition to the other safer sex practices. It can be offered alongside oral prep as a choice for women who do not want or are unable to take a daily oral tablet. While contraceptive vaginal rings have been available for several years, the DPVR, the DPV VR is the first vaginal HIV prevention product. Research is underway to develop a vaginal ring that includes both contraception and HIV prevention. It's called the dual ring, but that one has not yet been 
uh, it's still being worked on. Uh, we've had the news since last year, but it's still being worked on. So since November 2020, the, the PV ring ring has been included in, on the WHO's pre-qualifications list of medicines. This followed the positive scientific opinion from the European Medicines Agency under Article 58 of the use of uh, the, the PV ring ring for HIV prevention, which was granted in July 2020. At a recent WHO guideline development group meeting, the group formulated a conditional recommendation supporting offer of the vaginal ring. The group assessed that the benefits of the ring outweigh the harms based on a systematic review and a meta-analysis of the scientific evidence presented to them. So what basically this ring does is we have seen it prevents HIV. And we have seen it's put in the vagina for 28 days. And we've seen it's made for women who are at very high risk. This is women with more than one sexual partner, women who are uh, uh, the adolescent girls and young women who are at the risk or the age, uh, they, they are in, uh, in a risk a risk age because we have now risk ages and uh, also for women who are in discordant relationships for sex work, female sex workers, this are going this is a ring that is going to help all of these women and give them power to choose to have safe sex and when i say safe sex i mean safe in terms of reducing hiv and aids infections so this is to a new a brand new uh hiv free world i am hoping and i am really looking forward to the dual ring that will have both the the family planning or the contraception and the and the hiv prevention together so that it can be a dual ring and it can prevent women from unplanned pregnancies and hiv both of them so i hope that when the ring comes to africa because now it has not it's not yet in africa you know that we're the continent that gets these things last eh? so we i hope that when the ring comes to africa women are going to be able to be open to take it and be happy that now they have a hiv prevention method designed specifically for women Thank you so much for watching this video till this very moment. And if you have reached here, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and engage with me on the comment sections. Bye-bye. See you next week with a brand new video.